What's up everybody, Sam Smice here. Today I want to show you how to make the base to Diet Coke by Fallon. Now before we get started today, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also please go ahead and give this video a like. That is the base I'm going to show you how to make today. This song was recently number one on Beatport and I wanted to show you how to make this bass because it has a nice like harmonic to it where it sounds as if there is another octave playing uh, when this bass sound opens up. Throughout most of the song, it is ha it is filtered here, so it has more of that vibe, and I do have some kickstart on there right at about 90%. It is very filtered, but when you open it up, then you do get that harmonic sounding coming through. So I was playing around with this in Serum and I was doing something like maybe I'll have a, a saw wave and then a negative two octave and then another one at negative one octave. So then I have them an octave apart and then it gives that sound. But I actually found, I was just scrolling through the wavetables. Sometimes I'll try to remake a sound and then get as close to the sound as I can and then see if any of the wavetables can get me there closer if I use any of the unique ones. And I did remember, and also the benefit of me always doing this is I, I have an idea of like what the wavetables sound like. So I knew that there was one in the, I think this is in the analog section that has a harmonic tone to it. And I, I remembered it was like this BS2 filthy one or this BS2 one, one of these two. So I went to this one and I found out that that almost sounds like exactly the wavetable just for this sound. So all I used was this BS2 filthy wavetable. And I didn't really change anything because I had the, the wavetable position at zero, what, one. Voicing's at mono. So let's just take off. This is all I did. So I just have this and BS2 filthy. It just sounds like that when you play, which is it, it, almost exactly what the bass sounds like in the song. And I did add some release here. And maybe my release is a bit off from how he did it because when it opens up, I did have to make the notes a bit shorter. But when the filter closes, I made the notes a bit, a bit longer. Just because when it does close, let's listen to it when it is closed. I still wanted some of that like release of the bass to come through. So all I did is I just had this envelope with some of this release, this envelope too, like this with some release as well, and then assign this envelope to, to the cutoff on a MG Low 24 filter, set the modulation around 30%. Here's my resonance, here's my drive. And then I just added a bit of EQ, cutting out some of the frequencies around 700 Hertz. So we can probably hear what that sounds like better with the filter opened up. You can hear how when I add in this dip, it takes away some of that nasaliness from when that filter is fully open. And then from there, all I did was just play it around with the opening up uh, and closing this filter by automating it up and down. So I just went to my automation here and just automated up this filter. And this is something I've been noticing a lot in Tech House where at the beginning of a drop, you will have the, whatever the sound is, the filter opens up and then it then comes down. And I think Chris Lake has been doing that a lot in some of his tracks. And of course, cause Chris Lake's been doing it now, a lot of people have been doing that as well, where you have at the beginning of a drop where it's completely open. And then it closes, like for this sound, it was more of like a, the whole phrase was all open. And then throughout the track, he would kind of do little things where it would maybe raise up a little bit. And then close back again. So that is a way to make your basses a bit more interesting is actually listen to them 
what they sound like when you have the filter open all the way. Because when uh, this is open all the way is when you hear those harmonics coming through. You don't really hear it when it's uh, the filter is closed. And sometimes what I like to do, it's not on this sound, but like when a filter opens up, I'll add in a noise here. Let's turn that, that filter on for the noise. Because you can't really hear the noise there, but then if you open it up, then you get the noise coming through. And I think that adds a nice like silkiness. So you can hear the noise now. If you were to do some automation like that. Versus what it would sound like without the bright noise. So I didn't hear the bright noise in this track, but that's just like something to think about as you are creating these bass sounds or opening up a filter. If the preset doesn't already have the noise in there, then just throw in the noise so that when you're automating this filter, then you get some of that noise and that sound buzziness or the silkiness of that noise coming through. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do want to grab the preset to this bass sound, I will put it in my Patreon.